Welcome back YouTube. So we got the Project XL76 on the bench here. Um, it's a long weekend here. It is so smoky out. It does not, it's really not nice to be outside. We normally don't camp on May long weekend because it's a little too crazy. It's kind of like the first inaugural camping weekend here in Canada. We were out uh, Easter long weekend because it was quite nice, but uh, I can't have fires right now anyways, but uh, the province is burning bad. Like big time bad. Anyways, to what I am doing here, so the project saw was originally a point saw. It had the points disconnected and was running a uh, atom chip. This particular saw, I want to convert back to points. Why? Because why not? The points on here look pretty dirty. Um, actually, I like yeah, that's all points and condensers for these saws. Some new old stock condensers, new old stock points, all kinds of crap in there. But I'm going to try using the points and coil that came out of that um, really gnarly saw that had the uh, bull wrap handle. Because, this is my, you can see some of this. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I can see some of it. I'm just kind of rambling on anyways. Um, but yeah, so this saw is going to be converted back to points. Get these old gnarly points out of here. Hopefully I won't spend all day trying to adjust these things though. seal all down that part saw that I was just talking about um, the full wrap it um, yes definitely gonna need a crank seal uh, that one looks like the crank seal would actually be replaced why well, can't get the stupid washer out of here Yeah, you see how slimy and gooey that is? Kind of tells me that. That crank seal was done because the crap was definitely leaking past it. So, let's see if I can get so easily. I don't have to pause the cameras because I gotta swear a thousand times. It's one of those sad days where I realized I really need to start getting glasses. Much too much. And pause you guys for a second here. Okay, so we are back. I just had to fight with that crank seal a little bit. Um, so yeah, here's the one that came out of there. It'll pick it up, but you can feel that it's uh, deteriorated. It, it, and it's malleable, but it's got that rough like you crack it easily. Yeah, it's so done. That crank seal is done. So, get a new crank seal. And for the flywheel side, these are the correct ones. The CRSKF6119 is the correct seal. Okay, so, I use a piece of um, half inch aluminum pipe. Seems to work okay. Let's get the seal on there nicely. My hand kind of set it over top of the step on the crankshaft. And then take your favorite ball peen hammer or whatever kind of hammer. And there. 
that crank seal is set perfectly. Or as perfectly as I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna use the felt off this carcass saw because the saw came with full wrap. That felt looks brand new. And I have a feeling that this has been changed on that. So the crank seal has been changed on that before. I might actually do something with that saw. Like I can make like a garbage build out of it. Sometimes garbage builds can be fun. Take this to set that stupid washer back in place. Probably guys can see what I'm doing. I apologize for that, but that is in. Very nice. Okay, now the point setup that came out of that other saw because everything's here. This could rubricate that. Need some pliers, maybe. If I can clean this up one day, we'll have these issues. Work. Some linesman pliers. Okay. So, these go on. Those there. A lot of people don't like points. Seem to work okay. I mean, I have a lot of home lights around points, and in some ways, they're less problematic than some some of the saws that have electronic ignition, like those blue Presto light coils. They're horrible and notorious for working one day. So, like the saw I'm going to send to JK here eventually, um, that Super XL 130, it currently has a blue coil. I have baked that coil, but I'm having problems starting that saw, and I don't think it's because of the carburetor. It could be a carburetor issue, maybe, but I think it's just the um, the coil is only working intermittently, which makes a lot of sense because that's what they do. They're they're bastards that way. And as far as chainsaw co coils go, those guys are kind of the assholes of the chainsaw coil world. There is such a thing. Okay. Stator plate should be completely counterclockwise, I do believe. I can tighten it down there and just see if the points do point things. Uh, if you guys can pick that up, maybe, maybe not. So 15 thou, that looks like more than 15 thou. That's like almost a 30 second. So, I would correct that by, sorry, I'm not, I'm not a points guru. Um, I understand them. I know how to work with them, but Better right there. Tighten that down. I'm literally just eyeballing fifteen thousandths of an inch, but really that's essentially half of the thirty seconds, so a sixty-fourth, I guess. Which can you eyeball that? Yeah, you can. I eyeball crap at work all the time. It doesn't work within a thirty-second at work though. Okay, close, 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 close. Open field collapse. Okay, I'm hoping that'll work. Okay, I gotta tighten down the condenser. Hopefully this condenser is okay. If it's not, that's well, that would kind of suck actually. <clears throat> I guess we'll know soon enough because. Well, anyways, I'm gonna pause you guys. I can get this back together and then see if we got spark. Okay, so I got the points in, got a starter back on, I gotta find a kill switch for this yet, and see if there's spark, I hope there is. I don't want to take all that back apart, but we shall find out. Oh yeah. Nice, healthy spark. 
Okay, so that's probably it for today. I might monkey with a bit. I gotta find a kill switch for it. Um, might see if I have a carburetor that uh, is already rebuilt, because I might, or take a look at the one that was in there. But either way, it's got spark. I might put the full wrap on this saw today. Um, I still hate that it doesn't have a correct cover on it. It's gonna bug me, but I'll just try to ignore it. Anyways, take it easy, everybody. Bye.